Hey folks, Michael McGee here. Last year we raised hickory cane corn here, and when we got done and we picked it and we worked it up, we planted rye. This is the best field of rye I've ever seen in my life. Tall as I am, pretty much. And we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna plant trucker's favorite corn. And so in order to do that, I've gotta get this worked up. And that means I gotta bush hog this and get it to where I can get it in the ground which is gonna really help the soil. Let's get to work, bush hogging this down, and then we're gonna probably have to turn it. I just don't think all this is gonna till in. I don't have a drill for no-till, and when you use a drill for no-till, you have to spray. I don't even want GMO corn, let alone have to spray Roundup on it. I use Trucker's Favorite and my Guatemalan open pollinated, hickory cane, whatever I want to be putting something into my body that doesn't, is not compatible with Roundup. That's my personal opinion. So let's get in here and let's get to work. Would you do all this for a video, Frank? <laughs> what do you think about that rye, son? That's tall. That ain't rye. That's just some old uh, weed. junk grass. Yeah, weed grass, but what do you think about that, son? That's good. That made good hay. I'm it would have made good hay, but it's kind of kind of thick, ain't it? Yeah. It's kind of stalky. Stalky, but it still made good hay. Well, if they run it through a smasher, maybe. Manager. Yeah, something to condition the hay, you know. Oh, yeah, like a rodeo. Yeah, but, but we're putting it in the ground and going to feed it to the but, corn. But. But. Well, we make an unfortunate find. I had a feeling the deer would bed down in this tall grass. This baby deer, of course my tire just missed it, but it was already dead anyway. Fresh born, I mean it is limber as a dish rag. It hadn't been born long. It's already got fly eggs right here on it, but it does not stink at all yet, and it's a hot day. So I'm saying that it was just born here just a couple hours ago, and it was born dead, I believe. It's got a real scrawny look to it, like some people call them water babies or something like that. It Maybe the mama had a more healthy one. Maybe it's a twin or a triplet that just didn't make it. But unfortunate, mm -hmm. we uh, see this every once in a while. Usually this doesn't happen as far as dead born, stillborn or whatever, but it happens with animals that we raise ourselves too at times. I just thought I'd show you this. You can see the grass is mashed down where the, the doe came in and had her baby. It never stood up. It was dead probably when it was born. If not, it died minutes after birth. I'm gonna be able to till this in. This is a absolute mess. So I'm just gonna get my turning plow on and start turning.
It's a mess, ain't it? Mess. What do you think about it? You gonna you gonna plow this up? I'm plowing it right I mean, now. Uh, till it? Yeah. I can't till it. It's too messy. It is, ain't it? Look out here. I'll have to wait until it rots down before I can till it. What do you mean right down? It'll at least have to get to where it don't wad up. Wad up? Wad up. It's a mess, son. It is a mess. But it's not wet. Well, the dirt's a little bit damp, but no, yeah, it ain't real it. wet. It's perfect for... It's just a lot of product to plow under. More than I can really plow under. Yeah, you got that right. It just... It's a mess. It don't work, don't look that bad. It didn't start out too bad, but boy, it got bad in the middle. The middle's always bad. This side was always mostly for the... Mm-hmm. Probably the wet side, anyway. Mm-hmm. But About look how that... Look how that there. Well, it's a mess, I tell it's you. A it's a wad. I don't see how they were to do any good. Well, yeah, we're just gonna let time work on it a little bit and a little rain. Yeah. Boy, it looks like time been kind of hard on you, Frank. <laughs> all right we've got it plowed it's kind of a rough plowing job i had a tough time getting this to turn under and as you see it didn't turn under too good there's two reasons why i better wait to till and plant this number one i better wait to till it until some of this rots down where it don't just wad up but the main reason number one reason is there is so much rye plowed under it's gonna go through a heat stage when it starts rotting pretty soon. That heat will get hot enough to kill my corn seed. The corn will come up and then it'll get too hot and it'll kill it. It's happened before, not to me, but to a friend of mine. So I'm gonna wait a week, two weeks. I'll, I'll keep checking on it and I'll be back here to get this planted. All right, it's been 10 days. We come back over and check it. It's about ready. We had some big rains. Now it's dried back out and we got more rain coming. I mean, we might not get this in before it starts raining, but if we can, we're gonna try our best. Let's get with it. He think about it. Don't do it. What do you think about it? I think he's nuts. <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm talking about the jug. What jug? The jug you had the little corn in. That's my jug, son. What you got? Glass. Glass. Oh. Mm. You don't want glass, do you? Glass. Good for your practice. Oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> you like being a YouTube star, don't you? That's far enough, Matt. You like being famous, don't you? No. Yeah, you are famous. You famous the world over, son. You tired, Matt? Cold, Waco. Cold? <laughs> the creek water might have been cold. Yeah, right. Joe, are you tired? Yeah. All right, folks, we got this field planted. We're pretty excited about that because it was a mess. When we plowed it, it was an absolute mess. But you got to see it from start to finish. Now I say, let's let this rain come and grow this corn. This is the field of truckers favorite. This is our only field so far of pure truckers favorite to keep the seed pure and we got to do that. So we're going to do that, but we're going to get out of here for now and wish you a great day. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next video.